Drinking out of a bottle. Yes. There you go. No cans. Soda. No <laughs> cans. Right. All right, some great tips. Thanks so much, Brooke. Well, we have a lot coming up at 6, including the audit now underway in Beaufort County to certify votes from this weekend's Democratic presidential primary. WJCL 22 News at 6 o'clock starts right now. Covering Southeast Georgia and the Low Country. This is WJCL 22 News at 6. See us now. Tonight at 6 o'clock in an all new Boomtown segment. Why the Georgia Ports Authority is concerned about a new private port set to be built right next door. And the last of convicted killer Alec Murdoch's assets divvied up. But not everyone is satisfied with who is receiving a payout. It's a slap in their face. It, it, it's saying, Alex Myrtle, you get to skate. The scathing words from attorney Eric Bland after learning the Satterfield family won't be receiving any of the money. Good afternoon, Savannah. Plus, Vice President Kamala Harris visits the host of the city. What she has to say about reproductive rights in Georgia. Let's get it straight now and get a check of your forecast now with meteorologist Victoria Coquinos. And Victoria, a cold but clear night ahead of us. It definitely is. Gorgeous sunset behind me, but it's definitely setting us up for a chilly evening ahead. Nice and clear over downtown Savannah. Temperature, though, slowly starting to drop. We're at 55 degrees for the moment. Still have a breeze from the north at 13 miles per hour. You can see that camera shaking. Now we are going to have a cold night as we head towards your Wednesday morning, dropping towards about 50 degrees in the next hour, slipping back towards those 40s as we head overnight. And we do have clear skies in the forecast, but notice as we head towards about 7 a.m. out the door here in Savannah, starting off at 34 degrees. Inland areas will head back near freezing, feeling like winter once again. Clear start to the day and then we start to warm up and see sunny skies by the afternoon. So as we look ahead, a couple cold nights in store. This won't be the only morning in the 30s this week, but we do have plenty of sunshine in the forecast as we head towards the weekend. Milder as we head towards about Friday, heading in towards the weekend. Temperatures are heading back towards those 70s. Now it is staying mainly dry for the work week, but we do start to see some changes as we head towards the end of the weekend. That's when we see our next rain chance, another coastal low and a cold front moving through, and that will carry in towards Monday. Monday, we start to see a few thunderstorms as well. So if you want to stay updated on the forecast or have that hour by hour forecast with you at all times, you can download the WJCL 22 News app. It's free in the Google Play or Apple App Stores. What once was a contaminated brown field along the Savannah River is now in the planning stages to become a private port. And as WJCL 22 News as Lydia Blackstone reports, that's causing concerns with its neighbor, the Georgia Ports Authority. A main difference with this port, of course, it's a private port, but it's a lot closer to downtown being located right off President Street. That's what the Georgia port says is the reason they didn't develop there. That more trucks in the area could bring major roads downtown to a standstill. However, property owners say that might not be the case with other options there for reducing traffic. Is utilizing the Blue Highway like they do in Charleston. So they take whatever products are utilized here or brought through here, put them on electric driven barge which again is a sustainable focus and move it further up river. Sustainability being a requirement for any tenant looking to do business at Sea Point. Whatever is located here will have a functionality of the assets that it offers and it will be focused on green sustainable future. However, this is yet to happen as Sea Point isn't leased yet and is facing pushback in their permitting. We are completely confounded as to why GPA is opposing an incredible asset for this for the state of Georgia. And if they were to operate now, they would be allowed to do some container, but mainly bulk. In downtown Savannah, Lydia Blackstone, WJCL 22 News.